what's going on everybody it's your boy ptk blam back in the building with another weekly video how is everybody feeling today so today is thursdays guys back in the lab ready to cook up and drop another fire video for you guys before we go any further guys i just want to let you guys know i've super duper appreciate the support this week is probably one of my biggest weeks as far as the youtube channel the 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 actual videos have been doing great as far as views, the likes, the comments, guys. You guys are freaking amazing. Thank you for the continued support. And if it's your first time here, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the likes on the videos. It helps the content be seen by other people. Share the videos across social media if you enjoy the videos as well. And if you're not a first time here, welcome back. How you doing? Go ahead and shake my hand. But anyway, guys, uh, as well as the shop podcast, guys, this week is lit. You cannot miss this Saturday, guys, at 6 p.m. Mountain Time, we have a phenomenal show lined up. We have two first-time guests coming on the show. It is lit. And I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. Next week is even better. We got two other guests coming on next week, and I'm not going to reveal them. You guys will see. So stay locked. Follow me on Twitter if you don't already. All of that is in the description below. Everybody else who's a participant or part of the Actual Shop Podcast, their Twitter accounts and channels, everything like that are below as well. Go and follow them. Shout out to Zalker. Shout out to Jarhead. Shout out to Fuzzy Belvedere, my brothers in arms here on the podcast, man. But appreciate you guys showing love to the channel. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart so much. I do work hard to get these videos out for you. And thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for the continued support. So let's dive in because I know you guys are thinking, what the fuck is going on with Blam? I know you're looking at the thumbnail like, How, did you switch sides? What the hell are you talking about, Blam? Today, guys, we're going to be talking Sony, guys. We're going to be talking Sony, okay? We're going to be talking Sony. You guys know this is primarily an Xbox-focused channel, but I do like to cover a little bit of everything when it's pertinent. I've kind of been sitting on this topic, not really saying anything about it. I've touched on it, you know, little times here and there throughout videos or podcasts or other people's podcasts, but I've never really sat down, got my thoughts all together, and really made a video. And today is that day. So we're going to be talking Sony's strategy for 2019 and what i think about the overall move now we know sony already come out the gate saying we're not doing anything around e3 or near e3 so that pretty much gives you the first six seven months of the year that we're not probably going to get anything from sony as far as maybe anything big now i'm not going to go out on a limb and say that and just confirm that because that does not mean sony can't put out a trailer or a commercial or just some kind of press release saying hey this game is coming out this time later on this year. They can still do anything. I don't want people to jump off a clip here. Sony's not saying they're not doing anything. They're just not doing E3 or an event around E3. That's it. That don't mean they're not going to do any commercials, any press releases, their own show, PSX, whatever the case may be, some surprise show. Who the fuck knows what Sony's got cooking up? So, okay. So, but one thing I do want to do, I do want to start from the standpoint and give Sony credit. They've, they've, they've pretty much dominated this generation in all facets from sales to mind share to just about any way you can slice it. Shout out to Sony. And I really give them credit for pushing the industry as well as pushing Microsoft to do better things as far as on the Xbox brand. Because when Sony pushes Xbox, they tend to respond and they do things a little bit better as well as vice versa. Competition is good for all of us. I am not a Sony hater. Very, very critical of Sony. Not a huge fan. But I am not a hater at all. I do appreciate them. God of War is one of my favorite all-time franchises right up there with the Halos and the Zelda. So I'm a big fan of what they do. Now, their strategy for 2019 is very strange because, once again, guys, it caught us left field at the end of last year. And this is coming off the fact that they did not do a PSX to end 2018. So as their fan base didn't really get much content. I mean, you're going on literally a year, year and a half with no content. Now, do I think that they're going to wait that long and do nothing? Obviously, most of us think the generation is going to start within the next 18 months, probably. We, we, the new generation, I mean, is going to start within the next 18 months. So, obviously, they skip E3 for a reason. A lot of people like to think it's financially. I just like to think that, honestly, they don't really have much else to show. When you look at the games they have left on the slate that we don't know about as far as release dates, it's three games. That's it. Everything else is out. So why even bother? You know, those are the games we know that are coming out. Matter of fact, those three games, we have no release dates. And based on some recent information as far as The Last of Us, as far as maybe even Ghost of Tsushima and Death Stranding, those may be launch titles and a lot of people are leaning that direction. And actually, that's a if they can hold off and persevere through 2019, 
that's an amazing way to actually launch the PS5 with The Last of Us 2, with Ghost of Tsushima, with Death Stranding. That's a strong fucking lineup right out the gate. So I honestly don't necessarily think that that's a bad deal. Yeah, they may get their asses kicked. They may get chewed for a year. I doubt it because the media doesn't really do that. But they may take a little hit as far as their brand for a little bit. But I think they can keep continuing pushing sales, pushing numbers. The games that they have coming out, Days Gone, may actually end up being a better than I originally thought. So that may last them. Dreams is looking pretty good. I'm hearing a lot of good things about that. They may last them. So if they can kind of just cope with some of the third party stuff, some multi-plats, you know, every now and then remind people that they're, you know, the leader in the generation, then I think they can weather the 2019 storm and then start 2020 with a bang. Maybe, you know, a preview of the new PS5, any of that. I think that this is a calculated risk. And I've always said this, and I know I may get flamed for this, but I think it's a calculated risk. I think Sony short-term loss for long-term gain. We're going to take a hit in 2019 because we don't have shit to show. Point blank, period. They've damn near come out and said it themselves. They actually said it themselves about other events. Like, why are we doing these events when we don't have anything to show? That's exactly why they didn't do a PSX. But either way, I think they can weather the 2019 storm, come out strong 2020. I don't know if they'll show anything prior to E3 2020. Maybe they'll do like they did with the... um ps4 where they showed kind of like a they showed it early then they actually revealed it at e3 like the full-blown review so maybe they'll do something like that but guys let me know that in the comment section what do you guys think of sony's strategy for 2019 is it odd you know i know like i said before we've kind of touched on it but let me know that in the comment section what you guys think do you guys agree with me you think they can weather the storm come out swinging come out punching or you guys just think this is a ploy they don't really have much coming whatever the case may be let me know like drop a like on the video if you guys enjoy it subscribe to the channel once again the shop podcast guys it's going to be a phenomenal show two brand new first time guests on the show guys so follow me on twitter you guys can get regular updates from me as to when things are going down and uh, hit that bell by the way i don't say this enough but hit that notification bell guys that way you know when i'm uploading because youtube be bugging out sometimes. But either way, guys, love you. Peace. See you guys Friday. I'm out of here.